Capricorn, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and this is your April forecast. While I was pulling up these cards, I had a sense of... Let me go back. Sense things of coming into fruition. Now, okay, we'll just, we'll, we'll go here. Some of you are finding new love. Or that new burgeoning of an existing relationship. Now, in this case, we're starting off the month. There's maybe a lack of emotion with a soulmate. Or your soulmate may be seeming a little cold towards you. But it may be just a tete-on-tete. -tete, um of logic between you and a soulmate. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to say for some of you Capricorns, if you and a soulmate are in the business of selling a, a home or leaving a home, uh, getting professional help, legal advice, not necessarily, I'm not getting the feeling that, you know, this is all about divorce though. No, may be true for some of you, but I'm not getting that feeling. We have positive movement forward. Now, I thought this was interesting with the High Priestess, because with the High Priestess, you don't have to go anywhere. These energies, Law of Attraction, are coming towards you. She just sits on her throne. She just sits there. Things happen around her. Non-judgmental. Movement forward positively. I mean, you're getting you're starting off April quite nicely. We're having you release old energies. This could be, you know, when I said legal advice, this may be to help you release something. Even a doctor, someone intelligent, professional. Patience and planning in making this release. Suffering in silence. So you may not be sharing everything that of the burdens. Or maybe you're carrying um, most of the burdens for the sake of a loved one. That higher ground. In order to ease another's suffering. Not allowing emotion to seep into here. Maybe this is you being protective of your loved one. Maybe this is your loved one being protective of you. Taurian energy is here too. Grounded, strong, stubborn, stable. Putting all your ducks in a row. All the things that need to be in place protectively. Well, these two are Taurus cards. They're also the same card. The Hierophant. Higher wisdom, higher learning. Putting everything into place. By mid-month, most of what you've prepared for in the beginning month is done. We have material and spiritual prosperity. So perhaps a struggle in the beginning, maybe it began before April. We'll have a breakthrough for you. By mid-month. And this looks strongly like spiritual strength, spiritual prosperity. And as I said with the with the uh, high priestess, it comes to you. It's being lifted for you. Now the Empress is all about birth, new beginnings, rebirth, very earthy, earthy energy. So this being incredibly earthy, this is being incredibly spiritual. Nice balance. Nice balance. We have 
for you for the month of April, the numbers three, six, and nine. Strength, breaking through, freedom, breaking away, deep understanding, self-control, and determination. The ability to see like a uh, eagle's eye at heights that you can see beyond that horizon that you were once limited to. Now, as I had said, some of you are finding new love. Some of you are coming into the truth about love that will deepen much deeper than you have felt for this person before. Again, we have a breakthrough, a clarity. Could be this is love at first sight. Standing your ground. You know what you want, what your hopes are, your dreams. Standing your ground not letting go or having to sacrifice that hope, that dream. Rest up. You have a lot of opportunities coming your way and you're going to need to be rested when it comes because it's all going to happen. Bang, 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 bang. I mean, we just have to look at the global situation here to see that things seem to be happening, you know, one thing after another, bang, 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 rest up. We're moving you towards this new beginning. Victoriously uh, winning. This feels like a, I hope you're not a gambler and, and taking that to heart. But this new beginning, is this something that you're building up to? working towards maybe winning someone's love this new beginning again very earthy very stable monetary money there's something very stable being um, placed foundationally for you but I will finish this reading with uh, a message for you romantically. The romantic message or advice for Capricorn for the month of April. I've been gardening and nails have been breaking. What is a message for Capricorn? For the month of April, the, the one that's face up, calling in your soulmate, love yourself first. Mm, well, go back to the beginning of this. Perhaps a suffering in silence. If it isn't for a mate, you know, it could be a family member or friend that you're you're covering for, protective of. Oh, soulmate is coming in. Hard and strong for April for you, Capricorn. Hard and strong. There's love all over this reading. Really strong. I didn't see or feel anything bad about this reading. A couple of the zodiacs out there, I honestly had to pull out some positive energy because people are going through so many things with all these changes. You seem to be, um, what do you call that? Walking on water through all these changes. Maybe you're that stable force for many others. I hope that helped. Thanks for joining me. God bless you. If you'd like a personal reading, uh, they're half price now that I accept crypto. Well, if you pay in crypto, it's half the price. And that is in the description below. God bless Capricorn. Thanks for joining me. 
Bye-bye for now.